hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time, and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. Tonight we've got a matchup in the Orca Cola Championship, and this is the team I am facing. It is a Bretonian team, and it is scary. It is very scary because it has a dirty player. It has seven guard. It also has a mighty blow piling on, another mighty blow. It has three tacklers. Um, it's got some strength four. It's got some agility four. It's pretty much got everything. Nice, hey, thank you for the resub slice and dice. That is awesome. You rock. <clears throat> and um, hi, Afuk. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining in. We've, um, we're going to have trouble beating these guys, but we're going to give it our best. Now, they do have 1940 team value, which means we get some inducement money because we're on 1440. Of course, we're not really on 1440. Actually, we're on 1650, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, three journeymen. What do we have? I bought a new thrower, Liger. Um, I've also got a uh, Bloach Step Tackle Dancer, a Bloach Step Tackle Strip Ball Frenzy Dancer, uh, a Lineman still with Mighty Blow and Kick. Still no block for this guy. Let's hope he kills some peasants today. We've got th my only crippled player on the team, Peter Johansson, Bloach Guard with Minus Chili. We've got my super bloaty catcher. Uh, strength three guard blood step. We've got my nice, nice game winner catcher, Kildeged, with uh, blood and movement. And we've got a lineman with just guard. Let's make sure that we accept this challenge now. And yes, there might be some, uh, there might be some actual uh, uh, golf with your friends after this game. So those of you who do not have the game yet, it's six bucks on Steam and uh, it's a lot of fun. Oh, we have a wizard stadium. Ha! Huh. Okay. That's bad. Because my advantage of getting a wizard is offset by his advantage of also getting a wizard. It also means that I need to figure out what to do with my money. Because this is not an option. I'm not allowed to get another wizard. Boo! Glad that didn't bug out. And go. So, I guess we'll take on our regular Eldril again. Because it kind of makes sense. Which leaves me with 90k. Well, that's got to be two babes, doesn't it? There we go. Which is 300k, so it says me on back 10k. Now, nah, the chef is rubbish on anything but uh, flings, really. I might consider it if I were playing against, say, Kislev or against um, uh, vampires who only had two or three rerolls. Which shouldn't happen. Yeah, the thing is, I'm playing with 12 Widow players, and KO recoveries are a big deal. So I think Babes should be good. Of course, he's gonna Kaz everything because I've got Babes. Hey, Attili, welcome. So, here we go. Let's see. So our last round in this uh, league was unfortunately a uh, an admin forfeit. Do we want to kick first? Yes, we do, because that way, if his drive goes according to plan, we can one turn. Oh, that's so sweet. So who do we want in reserves? We do not want him in reserves. We want him in reserves. There we go. Who do we want on line of scrimmage? That guy, of course. And I guess our rookie thrower is pretty expendable. Our rookie guard. Nothing to It's pretty expendable. Or we expose the blodge one because his tackle doesn't have mighty blow and his mighty blow doesn't have tackle. And then we expose this guy, I suppose, if he wants to go around the outside. 
and that one. I think this works all right-ish. Hmm. Well, I mean, being an overdog by 300k is uh, is good in any uh, in any format, pretty much. Plus armor lino. Well, you know. Well, since you took it before guard, it's kind of rubbish. But after guard, I can kind of see it. Because they've, he's already got block and fend. What else do you want to give him? But yeah, it's still uh, kind of overpriced. I hope I get some good value out of my frenzy. Also, let's see how his sidestep situation is. He has got two sidesteppers. That's good. None of that mess we had last time when we failed to one turn because of the uh, abundant sidestep everywhere. Although actually it failed on, uh, on a dodge. Could have still made that. Wow. Look at that. They brought 13 fans and we brought 20. Oh, that's still plus one because fan, he has more fan factor. Oh. <coughs> Tackle. Yeah, sure. Tackle's okay. Rock into death on a tackler. Well, as long as it's one of his and not one of mine, I'd be fine with that, guys. Yeah, his sure hands guy is annoying. Strength four and blood sure hands. That is nearly impossible to sack. Good thing we have a wizard. Let's hope it saves the day. Now watch him fireball turn one. Kill four guys. <laughs> Nuffle does have a sense of humor. It's one of his best qualities. Other than the beautiful wife. Welcome to Cabal Reunited. Hey there, Invictus Blurp. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Sagelings. So he's got Bloodstep Tackle there. He's only got this guard here. Although the Jelly 4 is there too. Mm. Let's go. Let's go deep, actually. Let's go very, very, very deep. Like there. Uh, I prefer that one. Thank you very much. Kick skill being optional as it should. And bounce backwards. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice kick. See that? That's that's the stuff. That is the stuff. <clears throat> No, 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 no. Oh, see, just a kill. It's fine. Deeper, indeed. Deeper. Hey there, Flux Streamer. Okay, that's both down, which is good enough for him. That guy will be back in a turn. Another both down, which is good for him. And that guy will be back immediately. So far, so good. Could have been in the corner. Yeah, sure. That's true. Uh, this is in Orca-Cola Championship. I am playing as Wood Elves. My opponent is playing as Bretonian. Uh, he's team value 19-something, and I'm team value 16-something, including my journeyman. We both have a wizard because that's the stadium enhancement, which means I was able to afford uh, both Eldril and two babes as... Uh, my bonus. He piles on the thrower, I guess. Yes, he does. It is a nice planning on animation. And the thrower is merely stunned. So far, so good. I'm a bit surprised at how forward he's willing to be judging by the movements he's making now. Yeah, 
He does have this tackler forward already. Not sure where these two are going. We'll see. I doubt he's willing to make an actual pass out here. <laughs> okay, that sounds interesting, cold meat. Yeah, so I guess I want, he wants to be able to do crazy stuff with the Jilly 4 if needed. But of course, that puts his sure hands in the backfield. So if we can make sure, let's see the 1 in 9. That's not a 1 in 9. Boo. If we can make sure that the uh, my side of the pitch is covered by the... <coughs> by the tackler. Oh, sorry, by the uh, strip ball. Then we can send the others towards his side of the pitch. In order to threaten the current ball carrier. That way we have the best of both worlds. So you're just going to hide smack in the middle. Do we want to punch the strength four? No, we want to punch the tackler, I think. They both have lodge. Either way, we're winding up using that. My OCC match last week, unfortunately, could not be played. Sad, sad potatoes. So let's see if we can kill this guy. That'd be nice. That's a good start. Shows the sidestep yonder. Smack! Nearly a stun, but still helpful. That's one tackler fewer to deal with. Two, four, six, seven. Let's leave him here. And him there. That way, the sidestepper is actually helping me out a little. This guy is uh, contributing to my screen, basically. Now, if we want to send guys out towards the other side, he's going to go here. So let's put you there. Do we need Eldril to do anything? Not really. Would I rather protect the catcher or Eldril? I'd rather protect the catcher. So suppose, I mean, he's probably going to try and hand off to this guy and then come forward. If we have enough pressure on this side. Let's send Eldril, say, here. Three, four, five, six here. And then you get to be there. I think that's nice. And you get to be here, hopefully. Yay! The loner didn't fail us. So, we have a situation where if he moves the ball forward, then at least he's coming close to my uh, strip ball. If he doesn't move the ball forward, then we are threatening him in the backfield. No, no, it's fine, Ramaset. I actually, uh, uh, I logged back into the... Uh, <clears throat> um, the forums and I saw that my opponent had uh, cancelled so it's not that the length of the game uh, was I was actually uh, just in time for that ah he chooses not to uh, not to hand off to the Jilly 4 which is somewhat unexpected but all right that means we have a lot of pressure around the backfield And now I have to choose between the Lightning Bolt and the Fireball, which might not be an easy choice in this situation. Of course, the fact that he has um, 
sure hands and strength four means that if the fireball fails to knock him down, we've got a very, very real problem. Then again, if we bolt and we can't get the situation consolidated enough, then we've also got a very, very real problem. I guess he's blitzing uh, Eldril then. Looks like it, right? Or the catcher, I suppose. Yeah, I've had I've had teams with uh, three or four plus strengths. Okay, the tackler's not blitzing. That means he's going for the catcher, which is fishing for a pow. <sighs> Gets filthy, filthy, lucky bastard. Well, since he's not fouling anyway, we might as well go here. It's a KO. I don't think he's piling on that one. Which is kind of okay, because we have two babes. <coughs> yeah, this has to be a lightning bolt. Kill it! Kill it! Dead! That's not dead. That's also one of the worst spots for it to go, isn't it? That's pretty awful. I mean, here, here I could deal with better. Here I could deal with better. This is uh, this is pretty pretty sucky. How do we make that better? Because we need to deal with that and that. First off, you stand. How worthwhile is the frenzy here, or do we want to do it with the tackler there? Frenzy's not bad, but we need some to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a bit tight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that is kind of better, isn't it? And then again, if I can come from this side. No, the, I'm going with the uh, frenzy plan. Okay. So far, so good, right? At least we get another shot at him. That's way better. And then we go here, I suppose. Now, do we want the thrower to do this? This guy's not going to do it. This guy might. Whatever happens, we're going to be heading back. So that's actually something we need to do before everything else. Let's see if we can do something about this guy, because that would help a bunch. No, well, that's kind of awful. So in that case, we're going for strengthening where the ball is right now. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. That's pretty sucky. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a bad leap. Uh, I still need a four plus pickup because stupid Eldril failed me. Four is good. Uh, that's not a four. 
but at least the bounce isn't awful. But yeah, that was basically the wizard turn not working. Yeah, I really, really needed Eldril to do better than that. We have sidestep next to the ball. We have one garter there. We have a loner next to the ball here. It's not the worst, but it's bad. And of course he's got this Jilly 4 dude who can go and get it, so that's annoying. And we're down to two rerolls already. The plan was for him to go here and then pass to the thrower, who would then get lightning bolted instead of uh, a super valuable player, after which we would uh, at least have exchanged wizards and hopefully been able to steal. <clears throat> but instead, We've got this mess, and our wizard is already gone. Boo. Boo that. And of course we're playing with 9 right now. That doesn't help either. Ah, it's too early to call it that, but it's not looking super promising now. Also, thanks for that note of positivity. It's really what we need right now. I'd probably get a at least one Mighty Blow early on. Good. Doesn't go down. Does get pushed into the uh, Palmer, who can try again for a pal. Which would kind of suck. Only two tackle zones on the ball, and if he gets a push here, then he can actually see if he can wiggle it free. He does get the push, but at least, again, not a knockdown. Oh, he chooses to wrestle down the garter instead. Well, I guess. Uh, Eldril does go down because he doesn't have block. And we don't have him next turn, which is bad, because he would have been a really, really big asset to uh, clear a path in this mess here. I doubt it, Seed. I sincerely doubt it. Three, four, five, six, seven. So he goes for the pickup with the strength four, I guess. Would be really nice if this three die failed. Yet it does not. So, on to the ball would mean... <sighs> huh. Yeah, let's not. Because right now he's still got a 75% pickup to make. Or you do it with the uh, strength, with the jelly 4. Which means leaving me a potential sack. <sighs> Bad. Uh. Yeah, no, so he's going for the 4 plus pickup. Because if I bounce it here, then... Well, actually, there's not... Maybe I should have gone onto the ball. Because if it bounces here, then it's actually safer. If it bounces there, it only turns a 4 plus into a 3 plus. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Well, let's see the pickup fail then. Where's my guard? My guard's here. That's good. That's a uh, spot I can work with. Ooh, he does fail the pickup, and the ball goes to a spot that's not ideal, but workable, I'd say. So, we can block this. Or block that. That actually looks kind of okay, right? Because this doesn't have guard. Let's start out with that, see where that leads us. 
So I put you here. We put you there. Do we want him to get up? Yes, we do. That's good enough. He uses Dodge, of course. We follow this, hell yeah. Ball goes to the Garter, I'd rather he didn't. That's not an awful spot, except for the part where this guy's got strength 4 and I don't have any Garters nearby. So that sucks. Question is, what do I blitz and what do I do aside from the blitz? Well, I can dodge here, dodge there, pick up. Can I get safe anywhere though? This side's not awful per se. And these guys are in an okay spot until I get there. That's good. Three plus, yes, awesome. Where's his tackle? Here, there, there, yeah. I don't think I mind being here that much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Or we just go for the backfield. Because he's got until here. Yeah. Maybe a bit in between those there. Ooh, scary, scary business. Right, so you go here. Mighty Bloblitz is a peasant, because why not? Hmm, he fails, but that's not the worst thing to fail at. And do we still... Because right now, if he blocks this, he's got a 2G of 5 blitz there. Let's make that a little bit harder. It's almost exactly on the diagonal. So let's make it a bit harder still. That is that worth re-rolling? I don't think so. Of course, whenever you choose not to re-roll a failed dodge or GFI, the player instantly breaks. This is a rule. The bad thing is that I was actually pleased at how he was in the way. And now he's not. Also, I think my opponent got an extra reroll, despite me being the one who uh, had fame, so that sucked. We now have all of our team connected intimately. He's got a tackler who can hit my ball, so he doesn't even need to use his wizard. It's not looking too great, is it? That's actually in the way, if he wants to go to me. So he's not blitzing with that guy, which is kind of a relief, actually. He does still have a tackler somewhere over here, doesn't he? Does have a strength for a wrestle though. Who at the moment can't reach. He also has this guy with wrestle and my blow panning on. Ah, it could be worse, I suppose. It could be worse. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That helps. Keeps the dirty player nice and busy. He's just not going for the ball, then? Looks like it. He's not going for the ball. He's going pure attrition mode. Doesn't get my blodger down. Unless he wrestles. Yeah, he wrestles and then fouls, I guess? <sighs> wow. I really, really thought he'd go for the ball there. But I guess I've got wood elf mentality right now. Okay, snakes on the foul, please. Thank you. 
would be great. Now, of course, he's already got three of my players out. What I have left is mostly the journeyman. So he might very well be able to make this work. Snakes? Well, at least it's a send-off. Dirty player does make a difference, though. So, who can we score with? Eldrill right now has a 4 plus 2 plus to escape with reroll. The thrower could become a threat in the near future. Eldril does have Nurse of Steel, right? Yeah, I do believe so. So we might actually wind up scoring with Eldril if, we if we're super lucky. We need the thrower in the backfield, pretty much, because if he bolts me here, that's an issue. So right now, the furthest he can reach is all the way over there. The furthest he can reach with Wrestle is a bit less. So let's give him that shot just to lure him in a little bit. Because right now this guy can not blitz me. This one can. That's alright. You are going here. going here, I guess. Okay, that worked. So do we go for the four plus or the two plus with loner? Okay, that one works. Four plus two plus. Thank you, Eldrill. Okay, that helps a little. Two, four, six, and yeah. Now we've got a four plus three plus play here. We're not even blitzing, are we? No. Well, that didn't work, and it's also not worth a reroll. Hey, he didn't die this time. Yay. <coughs> so, yeah, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players. Just not right now. Right now, we have five standing. And this is our defensive drive, though. So that's something, I suppose. We do have two babes, so this is not that much of a problem. Provided that we manage to survive this drive. Which is by no means guaranteed. But the scoring threats at least have him in a situation where he needs to focus on the backfield. And he can't afford to go full force pressuring me. So that's kind of all right. Hits the garter, not the, not the star. I'm a bit surprised. I would have expected him to punch down Eldril and mark the guard, but this works. I wouldn't be too averse to a quick score, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three plus two plus with Eldril from here. As it stands. Not ideal, but I'll do. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
four, six, eight, two plus three plus pass. Could do a handoff first to get a reroll on the pass. Two, four, six, seven. Wouldn't get much further though. If I were confident he wasn't lightning bolting, I would have put my thrower a bit more upfield, but alas, I did not. Well, <laughs> that settles that uh, consideration, I suppose. Yeah. Not much left to do. Now the Blitzers have catch, which is something to look out for, because the chance of a six is a lot higher if you get two shots at it, of course. So let's not give him that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus passing. Now Eldrill has loner, so I'm better off spending my spending my reroll on making sure the pass is a 3 plus than I am on trying to spend it on Eldrill making his uh, dodge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, that's not the worst. Well, well, well. You stand up. You stand up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two plus, three plus, four plus. We could blitz this guy with one die. That doesn't really do much, does it? Nope. So I think we're better up better off just standing up. Yeah, so that second GFI would make it a uh, Three plus instead of a four plus pass. Ooh, dodge used already. Okay, well that's fine. First one's good. And it was a three, so it would have been a field pass. That was a five, well, whatever. So, he gets his intercept shot. Whew. Pass fails, reroll, pass succeeds. Oh, Sunny, you're right. I had missed that. So, so far so good. Eldriel needs a 3 and a 2 now. This is a GFI. So using the reroll there doesn't really help. No! So close! So close! Ah! Damn tackle. Well, I guess failing it there would have been slightly better. But it would have also made an extra roll. If I needed the uh, the reroll here, then I would have wound up making an extra roll. <sighs> yeah, that was a little Chewbacca there. I think he just forgot about Nurse's Steel, to be honest. Did I have the room to leave Eldrill one square further north? Then I could have prevented this and made it a 3 plus 2 plus. So, situation. If he scores, we try in one turn. If he doesn't score, then we won the drive. Still not complete disaster. I mean, we only lost a single player for the game. We still have our apothecary. We still have a very, very slim chance at scoring. We cannot afford to spend a reroll, and we're going to get the rest of our team punched right now.
At least I removed the player. Yeah. Look at that. He doesn't have sure hands or strength for near there. And this is not a knockdown because he chose... Yes, I'll use dodge. Thank you. I'll also use sidestep and I will be yonder. Oh, yeah. So his... Uh, his... Sure hands was... Here and his agility 4 is also... <gasps> Ooh, he doesn't have sure hands, he doesn't have a jelly four, and he doesn't have a team reroll. This is becoming mighty interesting all of a sudden, isn't it? If he fails this, then we've got a very, very real shot. <sighs> Tackle next to Eldril, well that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Diog. Nobody wants that. I do not want <clears throat> to be breeding Ewoks. No. Liger goes down. Lives. That's good. Might need him for the one turn if uh, my opponent manages this mess. This both brings the Jilly 4 closer uh, to where the action is and... Um, it puts a tackle on my frenzy, which he might need. Come on, come on, come on. Fail, 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 fail. Fail it. Fail it now. Fail it now. Oh, thank you. Where's the bounce go? Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. This guy's got strip ball. Is it worth standing everyone up? I do believe so. Yeah, either the one die. Or we uh, stand up Eldrill, gaze the Tackler, and then blitz for two dice. It's a four plus gaze, but the problem is that then Eldrill doesn't score, which means uh, this guy will have to go and get the ball and score himself. Tricky, tricky that. Actually, a push on the one die would already be a uh, sack, of course, because this is the strip ball frenzy, which is not an ideal combination, I'm well aware. Oh, there we go. Now it's a two die. Way better. Made the dodge too. Splendid. Made the knockdown. <sighs> Let's send it that way. Away from these guys. Oh, this is a very nice KO too. I might have to spend a reroll now uh, if this goes uh, uncomfortably. So this is a tackler, which is sad. Yeah, I need to make these. Oh, come on. I need to make these. I need to make these. Yes. Okay. Now that we know that, what else do we need to accomplish? This tackler can blitz me, so let's make that harder. This tackler can blitz me, so let's make that harder. This wrestler cannot, so that doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter that much either. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, never mind. We don't have any more decisions to make right now. Well, that's interesting. Is he contemplating the wizard? I guess. Yeah, he does. Okay. Ah, and it fizzles! <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that was big. Mm. Now he's going to be not that hard pressed to get two dice on the ball, though, with tackle. Oh, well, this this already makes this uh, this drive fairly successful, right? I mean, he's going to be hard pressed to score anyway. Then again, he's got a jelly four. He's got a bunch of catch. But it's turn seven. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was very lucky. You're a wizard, Harry. It's a good thing that Siegfried bribed uh, the entire uh, <clears throat> the entire College of Wizards. Yeah, this is this is the move I wanted to prevent with uh, with that dodge by the garter. Now he gets the knockdown, so that's somewhat annoying. But at least we can go away from here, and he hasn't blitzed, which means no, that's an awful stun. That is a bad stun and a bad bounce. Yeah, my chance of scoring just went down a lot. To be honest, I would have either tried to blitz the catcher, blitz the dancer with uh, someone else, or made this my blitz action so that the guy who blitzed could also still pick up, because this is the only one who could get the ball around here this turn. A very very cheeky Eldrill touchdown, yeah, absolutely. Nothing else to it. Eldrill can still make it, yeah, but it's not bloody likely, is it? And that's where the Blitz comes in. Oh, Eldrill can still make it. <laughs> Did he spend a reroll this turn? Loner doesn't matter. That is true. That is true. That makes me feel so much better now. Yeah, I don't believe in otters either. Otters are a fiction. Skull! No. Oh. Does he have sidestep? He has sidestep here. Suppose we do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's not enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't want to bounce it on the ball because if it goes the wrong way, then um, that's bad. So one die push on him there. Do we need any of these guys? Yes, because if he gets knocked off, then it's easier for him to score. So we need him standing to prevent that. Uh, these guys can't really do anything there, so that's okay. This guy can't do anything either. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three plus. Ah! Ah! Well, at least he's only stunned. Yeah, it would have been very nice to have the uh, have the dancer for this uh, for this turn. 
But alas, the Apo cannot turn the stun into a prone. Would be cool if it could, actually. It wouldn't be super silly either. Well, trading the wizard for a touchdown. I mean, the, the only bad thing here is that I'm uh, not capitalizing on my chance to one turn, which normally can be a game winner. I don't think he's scoring, to be honest. I mean, he needs some, well, let's not say never, but this would be a four plus with reroll. Uh, can this guy hand off there? He can, that's annoying. Yeah, so he could do a 2 plus. 2 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus type play. Or actually, he could blitz afterwards. Yeah, I guess it's not impossible. And if he does, then we can one turn maybe. That helps, but the pow on my garter is gonna hurt, because this is the pomer. 3 to 1 death. 3 to 1 death. No, it's 1 to 3 death. Mm. One turn touchdown with the 11 players I have, Seed. Okay. Yeah, I still have 11 players. Uh, however, I do not have a uh, reroll right now. Because I uh, had such a good chance at the ball, I figured that was worth. I mean, it did make him spend his wizard, so that's... Something. Oh, he's going to hand off here and then pass there? Yeah, apparently, because he's already used the guy I would have passed to to hand off there. Uh, I've got two babes. I had one bench. I've lost one player. So that means chances are I'll have 11 players the field which is pretty awesome in and of itself really oh he's got doesn't have a reroll if he fails to pick up oh uh, if he failed to pick up i would have still had a shot just realized that now if he fails the pass i might also still have a shot the kick mighty blow is uh, badly hurt only Now he doesn't have a reroll, which means we could still score on this. Wow. Yeah, see, it was a mistake to move his agility three away from here. I was, I was already wondering why he did that. Yes, come closer to my player. To protect his noggin in it. Okay, so he GFIs, he dies. And we manage the touchdown. Okay, well, that's a, that was a five and a six, so I'm glad he wasted those dice. Inaccurate. Well, that complicates matters a little bit. In fact, it makes it impossible. Because we only have one player standing. Oh, that was, that was sad. Because if I had stood this guy up, I would have had a chance. Oh, because even if I go here... The longest pass I can do is, I think, around there, right? I guess an inaccurate one could be caught. Yeah, I think long bomb range is roughly from the LOS to there. Do I half die to surf? Yeah, let's do the half die to surf, shall we? 
There we go. That'll do. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So that brings me yonder. If the throw is inaccurate, I might make it. Yeah, that's still too far, right? Let's see, because I can pass here. Yeah, so I'm two squares short, which means, oh, good point. Which means you probably want it to be a throw in and not an inaccurate. Let's see, set uh, settings. No, not official guide. You get settings, skills, pass. Yeah, manual's good. Okay. So we're here. If we pass the ball from here, we want it to go out there. Right. That's a six plus. Okay. He can intercept. Uh, the pass is a an actual fumble. Ah, oh, we fumbled it. Okay. Would have been would have been lovely, of course, at this worth. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. No, the first one was a two, I think. I'm okay. There we go. Hey, do I have a numbers advantage now? No, he's got... He had 13, right? Two, four, six, two. Yeah, I have a numbers advantage. Wow. Did not expect that. <laughs> Uh, it's only peasants he's missing. Right. <clears throat> Sorry for that delay. I have returned. Side steppers on the sides. That's not too surprising. Would be nice if we could manage to kill one, though.
Oh, that's kind of him. Hmm. Yay. Considerate opponents are such a pleasant experience. Right, how do we do this? How do we do this? The frenzy goes to kill that one. The block goes to kill that one. I would have used the mighty blow kick to kill that, but I can't, cannot. Therefore, I will limit myself to this plan. Yes, I know this. Be rules. Oh, you were fed today. Do not lie to me. Do you want attention? Then be a lap cat, because I'm kind of in the middle of something. Here. Go be a lap cat. There we go. Here you go. Right, where were we? Um, and he's gone. He doesn't have frenzy. I guess we'd rather expose Eldril than this guy. We don't need to push for anything really. Just like to be able to remove him. Exposing the frenzy is kind of a danger though. Let's do it this way. I prefer that. So th would this guy get two dice? Yes, he would. Nah, that's all right. Expose the side wiener, indeed. The side wiener can be exposed. Sometimes, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> no. Sometimes you guys uh, amuse me. Oh, it's no longer very sunny. Uh, uh, they've both got sidestep the ones on the sides, which is why they're there, uh, dice. Did I just plan my blocks in such a way that my last one wouldn't happen? I did, did I not? That's dumb of me. Well, we can do it this way, that way, and that way then. All right, all right, where be the ball? The ball be yonder. That's all right for now. We can leave it there. No problem. Start off with this guy. That's good. Die, die, die. Not yet. It might be worth fouling that one, actually. And then we can do this one. Not nearly as effective. Do we want to follow that up? Not especially. And then, why is there a blocker on the line? Because he's got really expensive peasants and the blockers have... I mean, would you rather expose a guard armor 7 or a guard armor 8 on the line? Also, no, this is not the jelly 2 actually. But I think it's sensible. This one on the line is weird to me. That one on the line makes sense. Let us see if we can kill the sidestepper. Two dice with tackle. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Oh, really? Now he's going to stick on me, isn't he? He's already spent my team reroll on oh, not double scaling this. Yeah, I'm going to have to dodge away from that, though. There's no way I'm staying here. At least I didn't also fail that roll, because that would have sucked. Right, how does this change our priorities? Well, I've got sidestep two. At least now the dancer's safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so anywhere down here would do for him. Is this dancer currently in blessing range? Yes, he is. 
No, he does not have someone with grab. That's better. Oh no, please don't fend. Dare I send either of these forward? Or just invite a bunch of guard on my ass? Nope. I'd rather not. If he goes here. Yeah. Here. Here. I'll try the pickup. Pickup's good. Stay out of his reach. Even out of marking reach, I think. Yeah, let's stay out of marking reach as well. One assist foul. Well, I, gang foul would have been better, but I do think this guy's worth a little love tap. No. That was rather uneventful. That's a good question. I have known the answer to this one, but I am not 100% sure anymore. So I'd like confirmation from someone who's actually watching and uh, who can know this for sure in level two, because that is a very, very relevant question right now. Hmm. So heat is hopefully not going to affect us too much because I hope that we're going to be in a situation where we score at the end of this drive. Of course, that's somewhat ambitious, I suppose. But it beats not scoring at all. This is, um, this is interesting. Good. No, not Irian Drill. No, don't mark Irian Drill. I wanted him free to frolic and score and become a hero. And so now there's tackle on the journeyman and there's no tackle on the hypnogaze dude. I am kind of okay with that. Let's see, where's the strength? The strength is here, so that's what we're going to blitz. We want a... Uh, let's leave you as safety here-ish. Let's shove you out here. We blitz with frenzy that we need to be coming from. Hmm. I think I like it there. The question is, am I willing to move him yet? Because he still get two dice, but he would get a one die because of that. That's kind of sucks. Can Eldro get there? No. Hmm. Can he make the blitz? Not really either. All right, we're gonna have to settle for blitzing into a uh, into a one die if we get a push on the first. That's not that bad. We do get a push. Am I willing to settle for that? Yes, I am. Would I be more troubled here than there? Not especially. The one die is also a push, so that's a little bit underwhelming. 
Do we still have movement? We do. So that's something. Right. And do we now have a safe spot to go to with the ball? Suppose he's willing to touch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'd have to be on this line. Which we can get pretty safe, I think. Alrighty then. Now that we've done that, we can throw some two die blocks, right? That's one. Now, of course, we don't get the assist here that I had intended to get from this. But I don't think he's got three garters here, and I do. Beep. Which means there should be two dice. Once we've got that, there should be two dice. Ah, all right. This is one, right? Oh, there's also two. Might that not be better even? Doom! Doom! Yeah, I think that's... Because this is half. If we start off with this one. Yeah. Oh wait, he's got fend, so no. That's not actually better. Because this is half as well. Yeah. And this is what? This is two. Yeah, I think that's actually the best order. This one. Because this is the one that doesn't have block. Which is why block won't help me on this one. But this one does have block. Wait, I screwed that up, didn't I? Well, good thing it didn't matter. Which turns this into a one die. Which is quite decent. Smack all the peasants. And now we can still do this to get somewhere relevant ish with him. Uh, so we can. 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 <clears throat> well, that was a good turn, right? Aside from the failed blitz. Let me tend to the doom. Doom and gloom. All things go boom. And Dexter's love. If you were born in the 90s and have no idea what I'm talking about, you'll live. Hmm. T-shirt. So I am. Thank you, Cold Meat. Today's t-shirt is the Mos Eisley Spaceport Cantina live music advertisement t-shirt. It is awesome. And you can get it via the link that Diog is now furiously digging up for you since Calf appears not to be here right now. Which has been a while. Well, you're the one always asking about my, uh, my uh, clothing. It's uh, on my Twitch panels. Down there. <laughs> no, no one can help you now, Diog. You must use your epic Linux skills to find a way to open a browser window. Hey, you've summoned her and there she is. Hit the catcher, that kind of makes sense. Works too. The team values are uh, 1900 for the Bretts and uh, 1600 before inducements for the Wood Elves, but that includes the three journeymen. Now he's managed to stick another sidestepper here, which is of course annoying as fuck. Yes, Diog, that's the link that doesn't get me um, a commission, but thanks all the same. You need to actually right click the link on the page instead of follow it and then uh, get the link from your browser window. But thank you all the same for trying. <laughs> it's okay. Normally, Calf does it. 
Thank you, Calf. So if you'd like this t-shirt and would like me to get paid by the people who sell it, then uh, use the link Calf sent. It's okay. It makes a lot of sense. If I really wanted to win this game, I might app for that, but honestly, can't be bothered. So now it's 10 versus 10 again. So this guy's got guard. I think we'll just smack him in the face first. See where that leaves us. That'll do. That'll do nicely. This one's got strength four. No tackle, right? So we can kind of follow that. See what happens. So right now we've got one die on him, which we can turn into two dice there, but not easily. Because the follow-up would actually be a half die unless we make that block first, which we can do. Yeah. Okay, where is this usually four? Yeah, he's kind of blocked off from here. So let's do that. We stay here. We half die cage up there. Then we get you up. This is a half die, right? Because of all this guard, yeah. So we accept making a loner block, which works splendidly. And we stuff him down there. And now we make this two die with tackle and frenzy. And it's a dud. That is most unfortunate. A push here would have been fine. But both down here lets him block me with tackle pretty much for free. That's kind of awful, isn't it? This is a one die. This is a, these are half dice. So if we want to make that one die work, we'd have to make say this dodge, which is not a bad idea anyway. Because now this becomes a two die, which is actually kind of decent. And it means that this loner is now keeping an eye on three Peasants. No, that's not right. That's a blocker. So, on three players, which is really, really helpful. He's going to get two dice there no matter what. So we can three plus two plus out of here. The question is, do we go forward or backward? Because we could go, say, here. This is not a good spot because he's got guard there, which means we give up two die there. Preventing this guy from assisting might be valuable, so let's do that. And since we've got guard and sidestep, this might actually be a better spot because we make all of this safer too. Yeah, three plus two plus, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this loner is doing an amazing job right now. The only thing that would make it better if he were just gone so that this guard would be entirely useless. Nah, I'm kind of okay with my situation right now, to be honest. <laughs> tada, tada, tada. <sighs> Tell me no one clipped my singing. I bet Calf would have done if she were sober. So yay, alcohol! So we're taking some punches, one of them with tackle, two if you include the blitz. This one has mighty blow, so this one's scary too. The rookie guarder is not, uh, not going to be too happy, but we do have a reasonable-ish position, I think. I'm glad that these guys don't have guard, which means the Agility 4 can't just come in and blitz that. 
and the strength. And this guy can't just block that either. He's got one pro and one counter assist. So this is kind of okay. Ha ha! Go wrestle! Best basher skill ever! Well, fair. Is he going for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two plus six plus two plus half die surf? <clears throat> no, you can block that, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Does have tackle. Wait for me. I'm confused by you guys now. He wants to lock down these guys. Well, fair enough. I mean, this guy was free to move and is now a threat to move. Ah, oh, tackle does something. And that opens up the blitz there and then the follow up punch there, and suddenly we're fighting again. Which is not the situation we want. So he did that well. Well, at least my one-turner isn't completely messed up, but he's messed up for a while. This does get this garter in an annoying spot. Not too happy about that. And he still has his blitz, which cannot blitz that one still, but which can blitz this one now. <laughs> yeah, but no. That's a wonder, isn't it? Oh, wait, he's got strength four. I knew that. Neither of these has guard. That's alright. Still got two dice on my frenzy though. Don't like that much. That's a one die. That's a plus strength catcher, so that's a one die that deserves a skull. Well, that's not a skull. But it's good enough, I suppose. This is the Jelly 4, he can go wherever he wants after this. Let's go there. I like it there. Mm -hmm. Right now this is a half die. That sucks. Can we improve matters? Yes, we can. Because so we can go here and we can hit negate him. There we go. So now, this is a one die still. We can make, that's the frenzy though. See, this is a half die. So right now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's gonna be the blitz. He needs to be out the way, let him be there. Good, good. Very, very good, because this guy's got sidestep and might have been annoying if he uh, managed to keep me from doing some stuff there. Now, this is quite likely going to lose me Eldrill along the way, but that's all right. This guy can reach quite far. I could reach further if I wanted to, but I might just be willing to hang around here for a while. Hey. 
More or less, yes. Three plus two plus awesome. Awesome. Nope. Well, we're not re rolling that. Which leaves three of our players in mortal danger, but he's also got only four more turns after this. And of course, Eldril has two babes to bring him back if we uh, are forced to score early. As do these guys. We no longer have an apothecary. But that's not a problem for Nagalara! Awesome name that. Must be an ex journeyman. Right? Pretty sure I don't have a sub or a patron called Nagalara. If I do, sorry. Heat, heat can happen if I score early. That is true. That is very, very true. But these guys are immune to it, at least. So they, they have equal chance of being out as anyone else does. That's where I would have liked to see a double pal, of course. Oh, he... Wait. Well, <sighs> okay. Fine. I'm not, I'm not even going to complain. Well, I guess he wants to pressure the ball more than he wants to serve Eldriel. That's that's not that weird, I guess. Also, he does still have a shot at the ball. But he'd have to make a 4 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus dodge. He can still serve him, yeah, but this, this wouldn't be the way you do that. No, I think he's just going for a tackle punch. Oh, or a piling on punch. Hey, that's cute. That's what Lodge is for. Does this guy have tackle? He does not. Would I like to remain next to him? Or would I just like to punch that dude? I think I might. So tackle on here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that'll do. Dodge is good. Knockdown's also good. Let's put him away from here. Because we're keeping our corner. Yeah, let's reroll that, shall we? Thank you. Way better. Hey there, Melfagor. So we have two journeymen and another loner. 
Let's see how the 3 plus goes. The 3 plus uses up the reroll. In that case, we're taking the long way around and going there. Not a hostage anymore. Let's get you there. There we go. And get you there. Is it worth GFIing with this? I actually think it is. Because that makes this screen a lot more interesting. There we go. Good job, Mr. Eriandril. Yeah, I'm not calling him Blood Bowl 2. That would be awkward. Just like you guys don't call me baby all the time. Well, most of you don't. Sheep does. Sheep calls me baby all the time. It's true. Really happened. So yeah, um, <clears throat> after this match, we're going to be uh, doing uh, some rounds of uh, golf with your friends, which is actually a really, really funny uh, casual uh, game. So if you're interested in joining in, um, if you already have it, let, let us know. We have a, a separate sub-channel on the Discord called Community Plays, which is the best way to uh, get in touch with us if we're doing more casual stuff. No, not the thrower! Ah! Uh, snakes into snakes. So yeah, um, everyone who uh, who wants to join in is also very welcome to join us on Discord for some banter. Uh, I think the game allows up to eight people to play at once. I doubt there will be... Uh, <clears throat> I doubt we'll, uh, we'll have to uh, bench a bunch. But, uh, oh, that's sweet. Thank you, Gaff. Okay, so bring the tacklers, that makes sense. He's got enough guard here that I'm not just punching him off of me, which means we're going to go hide in this corner and then try and deal with this shit over here. If we use the reroll, I might, might just be tempted to score. Because he's got tackle on everything, right? He's got tackle on the, both the dancers. He's got tackle on the catcher. So if we fill this dodge already, then we decide not to hide there. Before we try that, though, we might want to... Oh, he's got this marked, so that doesn't work. All right, fair enough. So, see if this uses the reroll. It does not. In that case, I'm hoping for a stall here. This dodge is also good and effective and everything. Yes, it is and everything. 12! The limit is 12? Awesome. And then you go out here and ensure safety or yonder. How about you go here? And if you're there, you might as well try to gauge something, right? And then you still need to dodge, of course. I think I like this spot now. Maybe this one. And now if he could also manage to dodge and go here, that would be awesome. Of course, this does leave this as a fairly easy opening to get through. Whereas if I'm here, 
then that doesn't give him nearly as much room there. Yeah, I like that better. There we go. Decent, decent turn. To be honest, Eldril should have probably just been here instead of there. That was a minor mistake. Let's hope it doesn't get punished. Okay, so that helps. Now we're still uh, in the way here. And we've got, actually got the three journeymen in the most blitzable spots. That's, uh, that's convenient. To be honest, it's surprised we still have them. But, uh, yeah. Just a push. Reroll into a both down. Which is fair enough, because he has three rerolls for three turns anyway. So st I still left him a gap, but he has to move around the long way instead of getting to swarm this area here. <clears throat> so one more turn of stalling or a score and accept that I give him a chance at a two turn. Of course, the weather could ruin that for either of us. We do still have a single reroll. We do not have a marked ball carrier right now, which is rather convenient. That's the sidestepper. Ah, oh, for a moment there I thought I was getting a surf. Eldro has been nicely uh, shoved in the way here. So. What I think I'll do is I'll try the blitz on him. And if it works without spending a reroll, then we go for it. For the stall. And if it doesn't work, then we don't go for the stall. Two, four, six, eight. We'll put him there. Which makes me kind of want to knock him down. Which means I probably want to be like here or something. This is good. Two dice, also good. Excellent. Excellent. Ah, oh, good. For a moment I was worried he was going to go here because then my catcher would have to go through the... Uh, So, you can go as far as there, which means we need to be all the way over here. Uh, that doesn't work, does it? Yeah, crap. Because he needs to be out of the way. If he's here, then he's still somewhat in the way, although we can do this with a single dodge, I suppose. Beats a GFI. Oh, one into a two! Oh. So this is a two die, that's nice. This is a three plus with... Reroll, that's okay-ish. Yeah, that's not ideal. Because this is a bit of a gap. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. And then we can go somewhere like here. And be fairly safe-ish. Alright. Where's the best spot? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we want to prevent him from getting in there for sure. Yeah, I think this will do. And then the only thing we really need in addition is for you to be 
here. Ah, 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 because now he's got a four plus one die shot there, which I would have preferred he didn't have. If I had a team reroll, I might even be tempted to spend it here. But since he's the loner, I figured that was a bad idea. That was close to a splendid turn. Now it's just a pretty good one. Now, of course, he doesn't really have great retrieval options afterwards, or even getting in my way options. So chances are, even if he gets this 75% one die, chances are we are the one picking up and scoring afterwards. It's not total disaster. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. I think he's better off just going for the uh, play here. He uses Dodge, of course. One GFI. Oh, nice. There goes the team reroll. Awesome. 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 Does he try another? He does try another. Makes it. So now he's out going for a two die potentially. Yeah, cancel this anti assist. So now he's still got 75% at a two die. If it's a push, we just score, of course. If it's a knockdown, we've still got a reasonable chance at uh, doing some funky stuff and saving. But between all the tackle and stuff that he'd have there, it would still be dangerous for us. For us. Recovery is gone from... Yeah, so maybe I did leave him a bit too much room here. I did not... <clears throat> I did not anticipate uh, this. Yeah, but recovery is not ideal for me either, because um, no matter where I sidestep... Okay, he makes the dodge. Makes the knockdown. See, this is a problem. Well, recovery matters in the sense that if he's holding the ball, he's making my job a lot harder. Damn, this is tough. Because it's tackle zones either way, isn't it? Jeez! Okay. Well, at least he doesn't have a lot of movement left. But... At least this is not a sidestepper. We've got guard here. What can we do? <laughs> hey there, game night. <laughs> Thanks for the host. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome. I'm just closing up on a really, really tense turn in a pretty tense game. <sighs> because it's nil-nil and it's turn 16, he doesn't have a scoring threat, so at least we don't draw. But the question is how to best handle this. Now what I'm thinking is... What I'm thinking is... We stand here. We leap there. Blitz there. Three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. If we don't need the hypno gaze then we could just gaze. So he stands. Mm, we 
don't need the thrower either, do we? No, not really. So we can just try the gaze, see if it works. I mean, if it does, that's brilliant. Hey, there we go. That helps. Hi there, David's trying. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. So that means... Three plus. Problem is, what do we do if this fails? If this fails, we go for plan B. Let's leap there. That's bad. That's bad. And the reroll is good. Okay, that's nice. Knockdown, please. Thank you. Excellent. I do believe that we are now a single 2 plus roll away from victory. Or at least a turn 16. <sighs> that was <laughs> that was a good turn. <sighs> that was that was nice. That was very, very cool. So, um, for those of you who just joined, joined in, this is the uh, championship division of the Orca Cola Championship. One of the four biggest leagues, I think, in the game. Something like that. And it's a top division. There's 180-ish coaches in, uh, in the league. And 10 of them have the honor of playing in the championship division. And uh, I've actually managed to take home the title once before in this division. So I've got two guys out. He's got three guys out to the weather. Uh, I don't think he's one turning. It does force me to expose a non-journeyman. But that's okay, because we've got a star as well. Awesome. Let's make sure settings... Let's make sure dodge is optional for this, in case he does get a shot at a one turn because we don't want Eldrill using his dodge and therefore enabling the one-turn touchdown. There we go. Yes, we still have just enough players to at least at least get in the way a little bit if he manages to get all his pushes and stuff. Yeah, we don't have kick because my kicker broke somewhere early in the first half. Movement 7 can one-turn, yes, but can it do so with this few people and... Uh, no sidestep, though. That's no frenzy, no sidestep. I would expect not. Yeah, no sidestep is definitely a factor. I mean, I've done, I've done movement seven one turns, but... Um, once I had a quick snap, and once I had uh, two frenziers, which helped. And no, no sidestep, but still. Without sidestep and without quick snap, uh, and without frenzy, I don't think I could do it. And he's not even trying. So yay, we won! And we didn't lose anyone. And we're not losing anyone, because all three of these are loners. Which means the worst thing... The worst thing we... Yeah, ogres. <clears throat> uh, the worst thing that can happen is that uh, one of these guys dies or it's Eldrill and he gets the MVP. What an amazing game. Uh, no, something bad did happen. Something bad did happen. My movement 9 catcher, so pretty close to a natural one-turner, is um, missing the next game. I think we'll live. This also means that I might have enough money to actually buy something good again, which means I'm going to have nine permanent players. Well, I mean, only one of them is a cripple. That's not too bad, is it? That's kind of all right. <sighs> Considering how we started with the struggle, my wizard failing to really do something. Ah, uh, that was okay. That was all right. 
Yeah, it was a very, very tense game. Enjoyable till the last. 180k in treasury. That is filthy rich for woodies. We don't want the journeyman. We don't want the journeyman. We don't want the journeyman. Ooh, MVP on the 60 star player point dancer. Not the best spot, to be honest. I mean, he's already got four normal rolls. Yeah. No. No. But okay, let's not complain about that. I could buy a Treeman, but the thing about this league, or this uh, season of this league at least, is if we look over here, and we look at... Oh, it resets to the chronological order, which is annoying. I have a lot of Blood Bowl 2 teams, yes. Uh, if we look over here in the championship division, the leaderboard... 303. Meh, meh, meh. I've had better. But at least I took Zippy down a notch. So that's nice. And this match isn't in there yet, I think. Day six, we just played. Oh, it is in there. Bad. Okay. So, um, if you look at this, Necromantic have Claw. Brett's, okay, tree would have been useful here. Chaos have Claw. Wood Elves have Agility 4 and Dodge. Brett's, again. Dark Elves have Agility 4 and Dodge. High Elves have Agility 4 and Dodge. Wood Elves, Wood Elves, and Chaos. So this is a very, very bad meta to have a Treeman in. Um, because the Elves would just run away from it, and the Chaos would just kill it. So I really don't think it's worth having a Treeman in this specific meta. Normally, I am um, not averse to, uh, to having a Treeman on your Wood Elf team at all. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.